journey back from Jurassic Park leads us right into the funny papers. Before we can say, are we having fun yet? We find ourselves captured in the hilarious really comic adventures question. of the famous cartoon stars of Toon Lagoon. Okay, first off, in all the times I've been to the park, I never saw a Dudley meet and greet character, but let, let, let's back up just a second for that. Let's let's unpack this Betty Boop fuzzy character. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it it's I get that it is, you know, Betty Boop's head shape and everything, but uh I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, by the time I first came to the park, they were already switching to face characters for these particular cartoons and it's less off-putting, I think. It's Okay, okay, yes, there is there is that element of it where Betty Boop is an underage character and the sexualization of Betty Boop is weird to begin with. And maybe the terrifying fuzzy character is less sexualized than just the normal attractive human woman in a wig and dress. But uh, yes, exactly. It's like that weird Jessica Rabbit in Disneyland Paris. All the unwanted male attention. Still nothing is worse than... Um, uh, one year I was at Magic Mountain during Fright Fest, uh, I think it was 2016, and they turned the D.C. area into a Suicide Squad scare zone, but mostly it was just meet and greet opportunities. And boy, let me tell you, with all those drunk dudes there, the actresses playing Harley Quinn uh, at those meet and greets, uh, they were braver than the troops. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine, Haley. Of Toon Lagoon. Anyway, let's not look at that too much longer. Step back, step back, step back, please. Help us. What's this tuneless tune song? Here we come, here we come to brighten your day. We're your Toon Lagoon favorites. We love to dance and sing and play. Believe me. This is one place where a picture is worth a thousand words. It's almost Bullwinkle music. Yeah, she still got it. Wah, wah. Oh, Grandma. It is possible to make it through these white knuckle, white water rapids without getting drenched. But don't bet the farm. I got so wet on Popeye that I had to get my annual pass replaced because it just got soaked right through my pocket. I own that book. It's a good book. It's, it's in the other room. I could have brought it out here. In Toon Lagoon, it doesn't take long to forget who's the cartoon. And who's not? Yeah, again, the, the Popeye face characters are also kind of weird because Popeye's face is always weird, but slightly better than the fuzzy Popeye. Snidely Whiplash has Nell tied to the tracks. Yeah, that happens in every episode. More to the point, can we survive this wild final plunge without getting completely soaked? Curses. Foiled again. Hey, that's my life. There's some Hans Conried in here. Just archive Hans Conried. There's Little Orphan.
<laughs> okay. Um, they really try to make Toon Lagoon exciting. And the thing is, Toon Lagoon has good water rides and uh, not much not much else to it. It I, Again, I, I appreciate all the references to old cartoon characters. But uh, yeah, I've never seen a Dudley meet and greet character. I've seen Bullwinkle a couple of times, but I've never seen Dudley. I did hear about the um, the original Rips All Falls plans, and I think it would have been very interesting, probably very unwieldy, 